Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Bible Time. I'm Ash, I am so excited to be doing a little chit chat video with you guys. I got my coffee. Today it's iced coffee with some almond milk and I tried putting honey in there when it was iced and that was not a good idea. I do not suggest trying to put honey in iced coffee. Put it in there before it gets too cold because I was trying to get the honey off the spoon and it wasn't coming off. But I don't want to get too distracted. But it tastes so good. Mm. So this is going to be the last video in my summer series, the Adventures with Jesus series, the missions vlogs I was doing. If you're new here, I'm Ashley. And this summer I went to the Navajo Nation for over six weeks and I lived with missionaries there and I did ministry, I did discipleship, I did a Bible study with the girls there. It was amazing. As you can see, I'm home now. It is so nice to be back home and sleeping in my own bed. Wow, I took for granted my bed. I love my bed. Yeah, so this summer I accomplished it. I did it. I did six weeks out of my comfort zone, not at home, and with a different people group. It was so awesome. Like, I literally cannot emphasize how amazing it was. And I can't encourage you enough to take opportunities with your church or with your youth group or with, um, if you go to a Christian school or whatever, even if you need to seek out opportunities like different missions organizations like YWAM, or there's so many. If I just really want to encourage you to take a step of faith, take a leap of faith, and to try a missions trip, try going and experiencing a different culture, and um, I mean mainly to spread the love of Jesus, but also that God could just teach your heart so much within that, and to give you a love and a passion for people that aren't like you, who are a different culture, who eat different foods, who speak different languages. Honestly, within that, God teaches your heart so much, and I think the biggest thing is that God will teach you that He loves all people, all the children of the world, every color, every language, every ethnicity. God loves all people, and so, I don't know, I'm just encouraging you to do that. I don't want to go off on too many tangents. Um, this video is the last one in the mission series, and so in this video, I'm going to be putting clips of the last few weeks of my time in New Mexico, um, the last just fun clips I got. I'm going to put those in the background as I share my story. So. This video is titled, The Hardest Thing I Learned This Summer. I, from the bottom of my heart, just loved every minute of being there and being with the Navajo people. It was so amazing. And um, I think some of my favorite moments were just being able to sit and talk with the people for hours or play with the kids and, um, just tell them how loved they are by Jesus. Um, even if their home life isn't the best or if they've been through hardships or things like that, to just remind them of the truth and that Jesus is for them and he loves them and he wants a relationship with them. But looking back, um, it wasn't all easy. It wasn't all piece of cake. It wasn't all um, rainbows, roses, cupcakes, and butterflies. I think one of the hardest things, the hardest lessons I learned, and I learned a lot of lessons. Let me tell you, I learned a lot of lessons because um, I need to grow a lot. But one of the hardest lessons was um, it's kind of a continuation from one of my other vlogs about holding everything with open hands. And I did not know that this was gonna be the lesson that God wanted to teach me this summer, but it really was, like, a lot. 
And I just really feel like that was one of the biggest things that God was teaching me was to hold everything with open hands, all my plans, all my dreams, no matter how small they are. And so when it came to the end of my time, the end of my six weeks, um, my mom and my sister came the last week. We did women's ministry, we did VBS, and we cooked for all the women and children. We ate meals with them, and we just did we did life with them. We spent time with them. We hung out with them at their house, and it was such a blessing. But that last week before I left, I actually got sick, and so I had to tell people no. I had to say, hey, I'm not feeling good. I need to stay at home. Even when we had to do things like we were going to go hand out flyers and we were going to, um, it was my last week there. I wanted to spend time with the people as much as I could. Um, but I had to say no. And that was really hard for me because I was like, I can just fight through this. Like, it's fine. But I had to say no and I had to rest and I had to stay in my bed all day. Um, but I felt better and so I was able to still do some things like VBS and things with the kids. Um, but then I realized after that week, once we went on vacation, because we were gonna go on vacation right after leaving, the first day of vacation, I was like, you know what? I'm not getting better, like I still, don't feel good and actually I think I'm feeling way worse that next morning I woke up I felt terrible and so I was like why do I feel like this like why am I still sick it's been eight or nine days I should be feeling a lot better now but I'm actually getting worse and so we had to go to urgent care it was like 11 at night um, and my mom was also having a really bad pain on her side and so we had to go to urgent care and I was in there and they tested me for strep throat and I came positive for strep throat and then I had the worst sore throat of my life for the next three days and I was so bitter because I was I was finally at the end of my trip and my mom and my sister came and we only had three days in Santa Fe and Santa Fe is one of my favorite places to go because of how beautiful it is and the culture and the art and everything and I was sick. I had the worst sore throat of my life and I was just like literally could only stay in bed and I was really bitter about this. I was not happy because I was like this is literally the only, like I, I waited all summer for this and I worked hard and I was kind of expecting and holding on to this amazing time with my mom and my sister. And once that was kind of taken away from me or what I expected it to be, once that was kind of taken away from me. So I kind of just had to live in that bitterness for a while. And then the next morning I woke up and my, we're all sitting out on the, this porch with this beautiful view and I'll send I'll show you a picture of the view so we're sitting out there and I knew what God was impressing on my heart was to pray and to thank him for all the blessings he had given me the millions of blessings he had given me in that moment my mom and my sister being there my mom to take care of me medicine to get better the fact that i literally only had strep throat like that wasn't that bad it's okay um and so god was impressing that on my heart but i was kind of being stubborn and resistant to thanking him and then my mom goes you know i really feel like god is putting on my heart to this morning, all pray together and to thank him for the blessings he's given us. And I was like, whoa. Like God was literally just putting that on my heart, but I wasn't listening. I was letting my bitterness take over. And so I was like, God really wants us to do this. And so I was like, I need to stop being resistant. I need to stop being rebellious and thank him for what he has given me. And so we all sat there praying together. We all said things we were thankful for. We all praised God for all the blessings he had given us. And it was a game changer for me. It changed my whole perspective on being sick during my vacation. And it just made me realize, okay, A, 
I need to not hold on to my plans and my dreams and my expectations of how life is gonna go so tightly. Like, the fact that I was like that bitter about it is like a sign that I was just holding on to it a little too tightly and I should have had open hands with it and said, you know what, God, this, your will be done and help me to just, help me to just praise you and love you no matter what's going on and thank you for all the blessings. Help me to focus on the blessings. And so A, our plans should not be held on to so tightly. And B, when things don't go as expected, when things are different than we planned and we're sad about it or bitter about it, I think it's actually good to acknowledge those emotions. But there needs to come a point when we can say, you know what, God, I want to thank you for the blessings of what you have given me right now and focus on the positives of what is going good and what um, you have blessed me with. Because I believe that in any situation, there are blessings that we can be thankful for. And so this is the Bible verse that ties everything together. I want you guys to really just stop in this moment and hear these words of God. Like this is God's word and it is so stinking lutely beautiful and every time I read this it hits my heart and I hope that it hits yours too in whatever situation you're going through right now but it says rejoice in the Lord always again I will say rejoice literally has to say it again and he says rejoice in the Lord always again I will say rejoice let your reasonableness be known to everyone the Lord is at hand do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So that day that I gave thanks to God, I can genuinely say that I felt the peace of God after I gave thanks to him. And I felt just this peace of like, you know what, I'm okay. God's got me and I'm gonna be okay. And it's okay that I'm sick and my vacation is sticking away. I'm resting in God's love and grace today. And so that is the biggest lesson I learned, to rejoice always. Again, he says to rejoice and to just give thanks in every situation and to present our request to God and to um, allow his peace to be with us no matter where we're at. And so I think that is definitely the biggest situation I learned this summer. I had to learn it over and over again to just have open hands. And I think I will be learning that every day for the rest of my life. So, I don't know. Those are just thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed the missions vlog series. This is the last one in the series. I can't believe the summer's over. I will shout from the rooftops that God is so faithful. He is so good and I love him so much. And I wanna proclaim that to the world. I love God, I love Jesus. And so yeah, I love you guys too and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.